Marco is a true original. He's just a brilliant genius player, uh, completely self-taught, and um, he was uh, a great musician to play with. Rocco is like a, you know, kind of pleasant alien person, you know, who's from somewhere else. You know, he just thought about music. He thought about things differently. You know, um, he kind of marched to his own beat. When I first started with the band, I would make tapes, and I was listening back to a tape, and I noticed that when I would play on my hi hat, he'd play really short staccato notes, and then when I'd play on my ride cymbal which had a more legato sound, he would open up his sound and had more legato tones. And so I listened to this and I go, wow, this is brilliant. And I, I asked him, he says, Rocco, do you know that you do this? And I was explaining to him what I heard. And he says, no, I just think that that's what I should do. You know, so that was kind of him. You know, I mean, people go to school to, to you know, get degrees to try to learn how to do what he was doing sort of intuitively. Remember, as a great, great bass player, great musician, a true original, and um, just, uh, you know, one of the finest bass players I ever loved. He just didn't copy anybody. He just did, he just did his thing, you know. So he was just a very honest, unassuming, cool, badass guy, you know. <laughs> You know, What Is Hip came about for I was listening to Freddie King's song called Going Down, which had a 16th note bass thing, kind of like that, right? Mm -hmm. And so when we put What Is Hip together, I said, well, why don't we try that idea, just like 16th notes on one note, right? And so we started playing around with it, and then they started, you know, like adding more stuff to it, and you know, little accents and different things, you know. And of course, Rocco, you know, he that, that was like right in his wheelhouse, you know, that that kind of playing, you know, real percussive, you know, kind of thing, you know. So it just kind of I brought the idea in, and it just we started working on it, and everybody contributed, and it ended up being being that sort of a Tower Power anthem in a way, you know. Yeah. 